Hi guys, hope you all are doing amazing. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about the product that I have finished up in the month of May and June. So this is not June's empties, but I have a collective empties uh, for the past two months. I have collected a lot of junk and I thought before throwing them out, I should talk about them and let you guys know my experience and whether or not I'm going to repurchase them. Yeah, so without wasting much time, let's just dive right into it. And before you guys start asking about the lipstick shade, this is from Iba Halal. I'm going to link it in the description box so you can check it out there. So first I'm going to talk about these face masks from the Body Shop. I really really love Body Shop face masks. They are all of top notch quality. They deliver results and they are really beautiful on the skin. I have three of them here. I have finished two and one has expired so I'm throwing it away. So this one is Mediterranean Almond Milk with Oats Instant Soothing Mask. I really love this one. This is such a beautiful face mask for dry skin. It has almonds, it has oats, so it soothes your skin and it also hydrates your skin. These are priced anywhere between 1600 to 1800 Quite pricey to be honest. But I really like this one. I am not going to repurchase any of the masks from Body Shop that I'm going to show you right now because of two reasons. First, these are very expensive. And secondly, I'm trying to find out dupes or alternatives from uh, natural organic brands. So we'll see about that. So I highly recommend this to people with dry skin. My favorite mask out of all the three is definitely Nicaraguan Coffee. This is Instant Awakening Mask. This is a coffee based mask. When you apply it on your face, it warms up a little. It feels so good. It has these coffee granules. So when you uh, remove the mask, you slightly, very light hand massage it on your skin and your skin will feel really nice refreshed and it looks very bright and smooth after each use so i have used it up completely this one is also empty i'm going to reuse these jars probably in my kitchen because i really like the jars here i'm not going to throw any of the jars because these made, these are made of glass these are very beautiful you can store your spices so i'm going to recycle them if i were to buy any one of these three i'm definitely picking the coffee mask because i have not found any mask similar to this that warms upon your skin that instantly uh, you know makes your skin brighter like smoother cleaner if you have a face mask if you know a face mask a coffee face mask which works almost like this or uh, has similar effects just let me know i would love to try i i mean very surprisingly i have run out of lot of face masks uh, i'm very happy about it because because of the lockdown i did not buy uh, products I try to finish up but I already have that's what you're going to see in this bucket because I have a lot of products that were already there with me and I was not using them because um, I was receiving so many products on like weekly basis that I used to forget about the stuff that I already have then this one is really good this is their Ethiopian honey mask honey based masks are my favorite kind of mask because honey is uh, antibacterial it also exfoliates your skin very gently and it is also very very moisturizing this was my favorite mask and I could only use half of it and it has expired. Yesterday night after applying it on my face, I was looking at the mask and I was like, okay. And I saw that it has already expired in March. I have this beautiful face wash from Suganda. This is their Centella Green Tea Face Wash. I already have a backup. Brand has very kindly sent me the backup of this face wash. This has been my go-to face wash for I don't remember how long. I think I have been using Suganda's face wash for almost two years now, off and on. So this is always in my bathroom. I always use this for double cleansing. Uh, this foams up really well. It's a sulfate free. Very very gentle. Very very good quality face wash. It doesn't dry out your skin. I'm also thinking of making a video on my top 10 favorite face washes for dry sensitive skin. Along with top 10 uh, foundation for uh, dry skin. So um, those videos will be up next week sometime. So keep a lookout for that. So I already have a backup of this. Otherwise I would have bought another bottle of this. So this is really really good if you are looking for a natural face wash that doesn't have sulfate, that doesn't dry out your skin and feels really calming and soothing, do give this one a shot. Then I am throwing away another face mask. I am telling you I was flooded with face masks and I have only one face and I do not mask more than thrice a week. I could not, I just forget. I am throwing away this is beautiful face mask. So this is vitamin tree face mask from I am from. Again a really good face mask. I have used quite a bit of it. I have used half of it. But it has still a lot of product left. I completely forgot about it. I, it, it. It pains my heart to throw this away. But I think this mask is more than two and a half years old. And I just do not want to experiment and ruin my skin. So I'm just throwing it away. Uh, you should not do that. You should use up the product you have. 
Okay, another mask from Body Shop uh, is this matcha green tea mask. Uh, when I was looking at the uh, container, you can see I have used a lot of it. I think half of it I've already used, but there is some water. I think something has separated. So I'm throwing it away. Otherwise, I have used quite a lot of it. It's a good mask. It is like good for pollution and all. It, this is like an anti-pollution, skin calming, antioxidant rich mask. But I do not see it doing much for my skin. I don't know what it actually does because you cannot see how it's reversing the effects of pollution from your face. It was nice and soothing, but I'm not going to recommend it if you are shelling so much money. You should either buy the Nicaraguan coffee mask or the oats and almond mask. Not this one. I have F7 Rose Ampoule Skin. This is from She Skin. So this is a Korean brand and uh, this is a skin essence. So skin essence is supposed to be applied after toner or in place of toner. I do not use toner on daily basis but I was using this one. This is very 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 good. Uh, it is very hydrating. My skin is dry and if I don't pay attention to it, my wrinkles and fine lines and my skin starts looking so dull and very very dehydrated. That's why I used up this, this one. I started using it in winters and it took me good 8 to 9 months to finish this bottle. Because you do not take more than two pumps and in one pump you get around a pea size amount. So two pumps are more than enough for entire face and neck. And I personally really like to pay attention to products that are hydrating. Because if you if your skin is hydrated, it will look more plump. It will look uh, really smooth and it will have less wrinkles and fine lines. This is what I have observed in like three decades of my life. And uh, yeah, I really believe that if you use products that have hyaluronic acid, that have hydrating properties, those products actually target and work for the dry skin. So this is highly recommended. I'm definitely picking this up in winters. Not now because right now I'm using one hydrating toner from Akoji. I hope that's how you pronounce it. And it is again a really good one. Then I have uh, Claire's hydrating toner with me. So after that I'm going to use Claire's one and then I'll pick one. I've decided not to pick stuff that I already have. So yeah. So husband made me a cup of tea. I drink green tea so this is green tea I drink only green tea uh, because um, I am lactose intolerant and milk gives me gas so no normal tea for me then I am throwing away these two primers this is from Natio this is the Natio ageless illuminating primer I used to use it so much uh, but I, I think I still have this much left I'm throwing it away because it has expired in 2019 and this one is really good from uh, Body Flame. This is again illuminating primer. And thank you. And it has this much left. So I'm throwing away both of these because they both of them expired in 2019. But these are such beautiful primers for a dry skin. This one is like these two are hands down my favorite. Very beautiful formula. Very very beautiful finish. I mean they add the right amount of uh, glow to your skin so I am definitely picking up the Natio one or the Oriflame one. If you have anyone who sells Oriflame around you do check this particular primer. This is very very good quality primer. And can you see these earrings? These are handmade earrings. This, these I purchased from an Insta store called Puni by Anav. And these are handmade and I think she, she made them from crochet. So she crocheted them and I, these look really beautiful. I was so um, impressed by the stuff she has. I'm going to link her uh, Instagram page in the description box if you are interested in buying some handmade jewelry. You can uh, text her. These are beautiful. I really really love these and you can customize the color, the fabric, everything. I finished up Arthradam Cucumber and Olay Body Yogurt. I'm going to reuse this jar because this jar is made of glass. It has aluminium lid. It, it can store some spices or something else probably. I don't use cotton rounds otherwise it, it would have stored some nice cotton rounds and I could have kept this uh, in my bath area. This body yogurt is very very nice. It was very light. It was just like water you apply it on your skin and it just sinks into your skin leaving your skin non-sticky and hydrated. I have very dry skin so I will not be buying it again because my skin is very dry on the body. On my face it's dry and on my body it's very dry on the level of being itchy. It gets very itchy. So for me very rich uh, butter based uh, body butters are good. Then I've uh, used up a sheet mask. This was from uh, Dear Packer. It was sent to me by the brand so I used it up. I don't think I, I saw much difference. This is anti-blemish pore care. I do not have much blemishes thank God right now. So I just used it up. Used it up. I thought you know instead of letting them sit in the drawer and expire I should use them up. And I used up this hair mask from 
Aro Vatica. This is green tea, French clay for damaged dry hair. This pouch has 25 ml of product and it costs 50 rupees. Uh, I like this but I am not crazy about it. I am not going to buy it. The brand had sent me four of their hair masks and I've used one. But I don't think it's I mean it's like an okay mask it's something like I already have deep conditioning hair mask that I use after wash this is a pre-wash hair mask so you are supposed to apply it on your hair leave it for 30 minutes and then wash it off with shampoo but I did not like it I did not see it doing much for my hair so I'm not going to buy it or recommend then from the same brand I have used the green tea mint with green tea leaves uh, body soap I really 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 love this one I have kept the cover specially to mention in this video um, the soap from this brand is uh, really really good I've also tried their almond saffron goat milk soap the soap was amazing it was amazing perfect for dry skin very 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 good quality I was thinking of picking this goat milk soap again from this brand I might pick it up very soon so the handmade soaps are like my weakness I love handmade soaps I love soaps I, even now I use soaps more than body washes my preference is always soaps over body washes what do you guys prefer you like soaps or you like body washes do let me know then there is this YBP plant elixir facial oil so when initially uh, Pyle launched it I bought it I think the date was launched on our website so I used this for good I think five months it took me five months to finish this one jar because you do not need too much this is very 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 good for deep hydration for calming your skin for soothing your skin my skin is dry and acne prone and I personally really enjoyed using it I already have a backup a brand new bottle of this one in my drawer this is an expensive one but if your skin is very dry if it feels dull it looks dull and it looks very dry and stretchy do give this one a shot she says this is equally good for acne prone skin because it has blue tansy and it is very soothing and calming if your skin is irritated if your skin is very sensitive this is going to work on all skin type but it is a blessing for people with dry skin so I'm going to highly recommend it they also have a small roller ball version you can buy it and try before buying a new full size bottle but I would highly rec recommend this one this makes your skin really smooth supple very soft in the morning I really really thoroughly enjoyed it then I have nature's tatwa Moroccan argan oil if you guys remember I spoke about this argan oil in one of my uh, hair care videos I really love using pure argan oil on my hair what argan oil does it it saturates your hair with moisture it makes your hair so soft so luscious so I use this as deep conditioning pre shampoo treatment so all you have to do is apply it on your hair from root to length saturate your hair and leave it on for a good two to four hours sometimes I leave it overnight and then wash it the next morning your hair will feel so soft so bouncy and so shiny it just revives your hair if you suffer with dull uh, lifeless and frizzy damaged hair do give argan oil a shot this one was pretty inexpensive this is a 50 ml bottle and I think this was for 575 so if you think 50 ml 575 50 ml is going to last you a long time because this is a thick oil you do not need too much so this is a really good product and uh, I will highly recommend if you are interested you can give this one a shot this is uh, nature Sattva this is I think organic argan oil yes this is 100% certified organic argan oil then I have uh, rose jasmine face cleanser from Kama I already have a backup I have used so many bottles of this and I think I have been using this particular product or Kama products for more than 6 years now and this one is always an oldie but goodie very very good very very good quality product this is salicylic acid as well so if you have acne prone skin this is going to work on that as well this is very gentle it foams up a little but it doesn't have sulfate doesn't strip off your face of natural moisture it also keeps your skin very calm and soothe your skin I generally use it as the second step when I do double cleanse this is highly recommended if you are interested in trying out a sulfate free calming soothing face wash for dry skin then I have two products from Suganda one is antioxidant face syrup and one is rose hip scar oil so her antioxidant face serum is a really rich vitamin C serum so I have used I think four or five bottles of this serum already this is such a potent very good quality very high quality serum and then the rose hip scar oil is something I've used in during winters I already have a backup of both the products and uh, I personally really love rose hip oil because rose hip oil works on pigmentation uneven skin tone 
it is a perfect oil if your skin is dry, dehydrated and it is also uneven toned and pigmented. This oil is going to work wonders. I have one empty bottle of Kama body cleanser which is the travel size body wash. I liked it. I am not going to buy it because I am more into soaps than uh, body washes. And the last product, the last product which is a makeup product, I finished it up. This is Lakme 925 Primer Plus Matte Powder Foundation. Um, as a matter of fact, I did not finish it up, I just broke it. There was a very thin layer of product remaining on the in the pan and I just dropped it on the floor and it broke. But this is hands down one of my favorite compacts of all time. This is a mattifying compact but it works so good on my skin, on my face. My face is dry but this doesn't make it look cakey. The shade is a perfect match which is Honey Dew. I'm definitely picking this up. I'm telling you guys, this is my one of my favorite compacts and the shade match is really nice. I really like it. I've already given one to my mother and uh, I'm, I'm picking this one up. So this is in my list. I'm really loving hitting pans on my face compacts. This is from Kiko and as you can see, I've already hit pan on this one as well. And I think it's a matter of a month or so, I'm going to finish this one as, a, as well. It, will, it makes me really happy when I finish up a makeup product because it hardly happens that you finish up a makeup product. So these were all the empties uh, for the month of uh, May and June. I was able to finish up a lot of skincare here. I was not able to finish up makeup because we are not wearing makeup uh, on a daily basis. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this empty video and found it helpful. I'm going to link all the products that I mentioned in the description box so you can check them out. Also, uh, if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell. I'll see you very, very soon in my next video. Till then, take care and bye.